Grab your glasses, Divina Wine School is in session. Stick around because today I'm going to teach you the ultimate four steps to wine tasting. Hello again, I'm Annie Shapiro, Certified Sommelier, and welcome to Day 15 of 21 Days to Wine. How to taste wine step by step. We have covered a lot since day one, so if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the channel. The link is right down there. I also suggest you enroll in Divino Wine School. That way you'll get a heads up about what we're drinking, what we're smelling, what we're talking about, as well as a copy of the class notes. Another very important link in the description is to the music video of New Kids on the Block Step by Step. It isn't mandatory, but I highly recommend playing it for the duration of this lesson, Four Steps to Wine Tasting. Now, as the new kids say, step one, we can have lots of fun. Let's get started. Have you been doing your homework? I hope you've been practicing the techniques I'm teaching you along the way and that you're making a point to smell something new every day. I'm curious about your scent memories, so don't be shy. Tell me about them in the comments. And speaking of smelling, those of you who are enrolled or following along know that today we have tart cherries, high cherries from a can actually, <laughs> dried cherries and cinnamon. These are all notes you would find in a Rioja Crianza, which is the wine we are drinking today. Rioja is named for a grape growing and wine producing area in Spain. Like Champagne and Bordeaux and Chianti, Rioja is not a grape either. It is almost always a blend of local grapes, Tempranillo and Garnacha, with a little bit of Mazuelo and Graciano thrown in there. For a red wine, Tempranillo has darker aromas, like darker cherry, tobacco, leather, especially in the higher quality and aged versions. Garnacha, on the other hand, is known for its fruity, spicy aromas. Some people even say that the aroma of Garnacha is strikingly similar to a fruit roll-up. I'll let you do that experiment on your own. Get back to me in the comments. Rioja wines are classified into four different categories, all based on the quality of the grapes and the way the wines are aged. Rioja. This is the basic entry level of Rioja wines. There is little to no oak aging, never more than two years, and these wines are lighter bodied and very fruity. Crianza. Crianza, which is the one we're drinking today, is aged a minimum of one year in oak barrels and one in the bottle. These are usually balanced with bright fresh acidity and the beginning of some complex aromas from the oak. Rioja Reserva. These wines are made from a finer selection of grapes, which usually means plants that have been pruned back, so the grapes remaining are luscious and riper and rounder, which gives you more body on the palate and more aroma. The Reserva wines are also aged for a minimum of one year in oak barrels and a minimum of two in the bottle, so they have much more mature, complex, and evolved aromas. And finally, Gran Reserva. These wines are only made in exceptionally good harvest years with the absolutely finest grapes. They are aged for a minimum of two years in the barrel and three in the bottle. These wines have very complex aromas and a never ending finish. Our Crianza is a 2010. It comes from Rioja Alta, which is a northern and high altitude part of the Appalachian. Now, what does a northern high altitude climate mean for your grapes? If you don't remember, I'll refresh your memory. It means a little less ripeness and a little more acidity. Now, where do we notice that? Everywhere, but most of all on the aroma and the palate, which will be a little tighter, crisper, and more elegant. Since day one, we have worked through the wine tasting process. So let's do it together, step by step, with this Rioja. We'll start with what you see. Remember to always put something white behind your wine. Now, start with the color. Is it a ruby red? Is it a violet red? Is it a brick red? Do you see any purple or green glints around the edges? Is there a transparent ring that might be a sign of aging? How does the wine move in your glass? How is the consistency? And are there bubbles? Our Crianza is nine years old and it is definitely showing some signs of aging. It has a brick red color as well as a bit of transparency around the edges. That clear ring, no pun intended, is a clear sign that the wine is mature. Give your glass a gentle swirl. Sniff. What do you smell? How intense is it? How complex are the aromas? Can you identify different notes in there? My Rioja is not super bold on the nose, but it is complex. It's nine years old, so some of those brighter cherry notes have darkened and evolved into something more earthy. Mm, we've also got some complex notes of tobacco and leather and even a little bit of mint. 
And there is a characteristic spiciness from the garnacha as well as from the oak aging. After that, we talked about what happens on the palate, the weight and the feeling, as well as the finish and the aftertaste of the wine. Is your wine bright and crisp with a lot of tingly acidity, or is it tugging at the sides of your cheeks with tannins? How does it feel on your tongue, light and zingy or silky and smooth? Is it light, medium, or full-bodied? And how long do these flavors and feelings last after you swallow? This Crianza has a nice balance of crispness and spiciness on the palate, a medium to long finish, and a lot of evolved, complex flavors. Even though it's nine years old, those high-altitude vineyards with those crisp, tight grapes have helped keep this wine fresh and balanced almost a decade later. You can really pick up on the age and the finish, which goes on for quite some time and has those earthy, mature aromas as well as some cinnamon spice. What does good conversation mean? It means presenting the facts, asking questions, and expanding the subject matter for a more profound experience. That is the heart of the matter, guys. Notice everything your senses are telling you. Try to interpret them. Ask questions about things you don't understand and share your revelations. And what are your revelations? Is this wine balanced? Is it still young or has it reached its full potential? Did it take you anywhere? Did it remind you of something else? What food would you eat with it? And did you like it? What do you talk about when you talk about wine? Tell me in the comments. Let me know your revelations about this Rioja. Did you have any questions? How did your tasting go? Did you follow the four steps? And as the new kids on the block say, step five, the time has arrived. See you next time.